They came wide and Allison did a super job taking out the interference, fighting him off and going to the ball carrier. They've actually really been pounding us off tackle mostly with McMurray. Slot right, I see it, third and 13, draw play, McMurray. We we're there to hit him. He got away from two, but not three. He lost yardage again. So they run the draw and we knock him down back on the 27. He lost another yard or so. Dunaway with the tackle for the Blue Devils. Deep to return this punt will be Tracy Corley and to kick it will be Mark Mallard of the Green Wave. 21 to 12, Gallatin leading us by nine. And we've only got 337. We got two timeouts left. Let's see if we try to block it. We look like we are. We are lined up with a nine man. Here we come, high snap. We missed it, we almost roughed him. They didn't call it. Corley goes back and fumbles it and then runs it out of bounds. Great kick all the way to the third. Bruce, I think the official did a good job not calling, roughing the kicker. Zach Manier was blocked into the kicker. Mallard, no flag on the play, 41 yards on that kick, and that one has turned field position around. 319 to go in the game. Lebanon with two timeouts, a long way to go for a touchdown. Gallatin 6-0 and and trying to go 7-0, and and Lebanon 5-1, and one. and unless a miracle happens, we need two scores, and we got 310 to do it. Here. Slot right, Corley's out here wide. They are back off of him, 12 yards. Triplett takes it, quick screen. Here it comes, Corley caught it. Corley trying to get outside, and they just won't let him. He got up to the 33 and got about three out of it, and that's about it. They really react to the football, Gallatin, that is. And folks, Gallatin is outrunning our blockers to Tracy Corley. We had Allen Bentley and Landon Dunaway on the sprint trying to get in front of Tracy on the hitch pass. Gallatin ran two defenders over there before we could even get in front of him knocking that play down. 21 to 12, 226. This has been a heck of a game. Reverse to Gardner. Gardner gonna cut it outside. He's got yardage, 35, 40. Knocked down on a 43. And they say he went out of bounds or did he get a first down? He got a first down, the clock is stopped, 214. Joe Gardner picked up a first down on the 43. We have to hurry and get a play and he didn't get out of bounds. The clock will start right now. 213 and running. 21 to 12. Hicks over the ball. Triplet calling signals. Fakes looks hot. Caught Bentley 45 of there. Quick pass, 11 yard gain. Triplet threaded a needle to Allen Bentley. First down, down on the 45. Two minutes to play, 201 to be exact. Down but not out, we hit the hot pass to Allen Bentley. Terry Stafford, triplet, a great night throwing that football. 13 of 19, Tommy, 111 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Slot right, he has not been intercepted this year. Slot right, back to pass, draw play. Crutchfield, Crutchfield's got five, Crutchfield's got 10. He's got 12 yards and a first down. Down on the 34-yard line, first down, Crutchfield tearing the ball. 139, we need a score, and we need it in a hurry, and then we need an onside kick. Gallatin Block. has had their hands full with this offense in the second half. 21 to 12, 132 in the clock, running slot left. Triplet back to pass, looking, looking out there. Corley overshot him, incomplete, clock stops. So the clock has stopped with 124. We're down nine. That nine points is huge. Corley was running a down and out. Triplet, I think, just overthrew him intentionally. I'm not sure. It was going to gain maybe three or four yards. Lebanon and Gallatin, not many people have left. You talk about a traffic jam, there'll be one out of this place when everybody tries to leave. There is a gang of folks here tonight. Slot left, we run a sweep, halfback pass, Joe Gardner looking, he's gonna run it. Gardner takes it to the 31, where he is collared down on a 31. The clock will continue to run, Joe Gardner's hurt. He got wrestled down on a 31 and he's not getting up. 
He's not getting up, so the clock is stopped with 112. Looks Donnie, like 30 second break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Probably just had the wind knocked out of him. A minute and five seconds to go in the game. Slot left, I set one minute to play. We shift into a wing and a slot left the other way. Back to pass. Here comes a rush, strong rush. Trip that will be sacked back on the 40. He just didn't have any time whatsoever to look for his receiver, and they knock him down back on the 40. They were bringing linebackers. Timeout, Lebanon. Lebanon taking the timeout, 42 seconds to go in the game. Fourth down, 16. Ball on the 40. Gallatin's got one man about 20 yards deep. We got a double slot. And we hit Corley over the middle. He couldn't hang on. That was a pretty good thrown pass. Tracy just simply couldn't hang on down on the 28. Gallatin will take over, and this game is going to belong to Gallatin with 39 seconds, 21 to 12. Gallatin going to beat Lebanon. And Bruce Galton knows they have been in a battle tonight, 21 to 12. What a struggle. Galton not able to muster the offense that they normally do. Galton came in averaging 31 points a game. We held them 10 points under their average. They're going to simply fall in the ball. I don't think we have any timeouts. Lasseter takes a two-yard loss back to 38. This final score will wind now. Let's see. Lebanon had one timeout left, and they take it. We'll keep it here. Lebanon takes a timeout. There's 31 seconds to play in the score. Gallatin 21, Lebanon 12. This will be out. Lebanon has taken their last. It should be the last play of the game. Laster will take a two-yard loss. Back to the 35, I think they say his knee was touched. And the clock will actually stack on the 34. And the clock is winding down. I don't think they have to run another play. They will not. This football game will wind down and the clock will tick. 12 seconds, 11. Tommy Bryant, it's been a heck of a football game. It's been everything we expected and more, Bruce. Even the fact that we lose 21 to 12 as the clock winds down. Gallatin and Lebanon, ladies and gentlemen, pardon my French, a hell of a football game here at Gallatin tonight. We'll be back in four minutes, Donnie. Four minutes. You're listening to Blue Devil Football on WFMQ and Lebanon Cablevision 3. Improves to 7 and 0 on the season. Lebanon drops to 5 and 2. Incredible numbers tonight on this football game, folks. You'll want to listen to this as Terry Stafford breaks down the stats. Take it away, Terry. Thank you, Tommy. Lebanon loses tonight at Gallatin, 21 to 12. Recapping the scoring, Gallatin got on the board first. 9:50 left in the first quarter. Lauren Lassiter, the Green Wave quarterback, a six-yard run capping a five-play, 71-yard drive. Evan Jerpy with the extra point. Gallatin led 7 to nothing. Lebanon got on the board in the second quarter. 6-11 left in the second quarter. Damon Stone, a six-yard pass from Greg Triplett, capping a six-play, 54-yard drive. The extra point was blocked, and Gallatin led at that point 7-6. to six. Gallatin scored again in the second quarter, 108 left in the half. Lassiter again, this time a one-yard run, capping an 11-play, 44-yard drive. Jerpy added the extra point again, and our halftime score was 14-6, Gallatin. The Lebanon scored on their first play from scrimmage in the second half. Montoya Crutchfield went 72 yards on one play, 11:30 left in the third quarter. Lebanon goes for a two-point conversion. That fails, and Lebanon trails at that point 14-12 to, to Gallatin. Gallatin scored the final touchdown with 8.03 left in the third quarter. Keith Brewer from Lassiter, 11-yard pass, 7-play, 66-yard drive. Jerpy again with the extra point, and that was our final. Gallatin beats Lebanon 21-12. 
statistically for the ball game on the ground, Gallatin 167 yards, 42 carries, Lebanon 171 yards on the ground, 31 carries. Through the air, Gallatin 87 yards passing as Lassiter was 6 of 6 tonight, no interceptions, one touchdown. Lebanon with 111, yard, 111 yards passing as Greg Triplett was 13 of 21, no interceptions, one touchdown. Total yardage, Gallatin 254, Lebanon, although losing the game, out gains Gallatin 282 yards for Lebanon, 254 for Gallatin. First downs, Gallatin with 13 first downs, Lebanon with 13 first downs. Gallatin turned the ball over three times, all of those fumbles. Lebanon fumbled the ball one time, no interceptions. Penalties, Gallatin three for 15, Lebanon only one penalty, that for five yards. Individually in the ball game, Lassiter, their quarterback, nine carries, minus four yards. Inman, the fullback, four carries, nine yards. Jeremy McMurray, remember that name, a sophomore running back from Gallatin, as good a running back as we've seen in our five or six years here broadcasting, 25 carries, 173 yards for McMurray. Moore carried the ball three times, minus eight. Workings, one carry, minus three. 42 carries tonight for Gallatin, 167 yards net. Lassiter, the quarterback, was six of six tonight, 87 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Individually for Lebanon, Triplett, two carries, minus 20. Marlowe C, five carries for 19 yards. Montoya Crutchfield, 14 carries, 129 yards tonight for Montoya. Joe Gardner, four carries for 18 yards. Allen Bentley, one for three. Zach Dirksen, five for 22. That's 31 carries for Lebanon, 171 yards for the game. Through the air, Triplett, 13 of 21, 111 yards. One touchdown, no interceptions. Triplett has still not thrown an interception through seven games this season. Lebanon outgains Gallatin total yardage-wise, 282 to 254. Tommy, Lebanon stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with a giant. Gallatin number two in the state, but lose the game 21 to 12. We'll be, we'll be back with closing comments after this two-minute break. You're listening to Blue Devil Football on Lebanon Cable Vision 3 and WFMQ 